Hey you guys, it's Sonia. So I want to come back and like provide some context, more context to my last video about the reckoning with the natural hair community. I think, like I said, there's so many layers to the issues and I don't just want to sit here and point out all the issues and not bring solutions. If you read my blog post, then you saw the solutions that I feel needs to happen. One of the first things I mentioned was education. There needs to be a total education about black hair. Um, for black women, you know, whenever they're thinking about making a change from how they care for their hair, like if they're deciding to go from relaxers to natural or from natural to locks or from a relaxer to locks, like, I think the first starting point should be knowing your hair, getting educated on your hair type, what kind of hair you have, and then from there, understanding what works for your hair, the natural things, the natural oils, or maybe no oils, um, how to moisturize, all these things. Not so much on product, but you know, if you know people want to use the products and People are always going to buy products. I know this. But just educate yourself on what types of products. Like learn how to read labels. Know what the bad ingredients are and what to stay away from when it comes to your hair type. Because not every product is going to work for your hair. And especially if you have 4C hair, you need to know like what works for your hair. And it's a lot of trial and error. But just going in with the mindset knowing Products that are catered towards white people hair typically do not work for us because those products typically strip your hair of moist, of oils, you know, natural oils that we need. Um, and there's other things that, that people need to know before they just jump in and decide, I want to be natural. I want to have locks, you know, there's so much you need to know. And so a big part of educating yourself is you have to be willing to put in the work. Like you have to be willing to do the work. You can't go to a stylist or a beautician and just tell them, okay, take care of my hair. Like, no, you have a part in this too. You have to do your part. It's not the beautician's job to solely you know, take care of your hair unless you got that kind of relationship and unless you're paying that person good money to do that. But you have to take part in the care of your hair and educating yourself. Um, and I think that's why we run into so many problems because these fads keep coming, the natural hair movement. I hated that people called it a fad. Um, I guess in some sense it was because a lot of people have left natural hair and going back to getting relaxers. Um, but now there's this wave of people ditching natural hair again to get relaxers. And now they're documenting these things for social media. You know, you see it on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. They're doing these things for clicks, for likes, to go, to go viral. Um, and then they're putting out bad information by saying, you know, natural hair just didn't work for me. It was too hard. I hated it. I didn't know what to use in my hair. You know, they're giving all th these excuses for going back <clears throat> to chemicals. Oh, relaxer is just easier for me. It's easier for me to comb my hair. It's easier for me to get up and go. Um, you know, they have all the excuses in the book, but all that tells me is that you were never serious about this to begin with your intention. You just did something because it was the popular thing to do at the time. You saw everybody else doing it. So, oh, let me try it. I'll give it a month or a year and yada, yada, yada. And then I'm going to record myself getting a relaxer. Like... There's a lot of things behind that because I also see that as a way for people to promote stylists, 
to promote um, getting relaxers, to promote the salon. And um, it's, it's, it's sending out the wrong message to other women who may be thinking about going natural you know, hearing, oh, it's hard. It's, you know, I didn't feel pretty. I wore wigs. I straightened my hair. You know, it's it's a lot of bad messaging happening right now. And, um, and then also, again, there's this wave of fads of, I'm going to get locks. Watch me comb out my locks and get a relaxer. Watch me... Uh, cut my locks off and go ball head and get finger waves and it's like everybody's doing things for clicks they're doing things to go viral they're doing things for likes and here we are in a natural hair community we're just like this stagnant nothing's being said everybody is still promoting products 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 everybody is still promoting their way of how to be natural when really you can't do that every head is different um and nobody is really out here correcting educating anything it's like everybody's pushing their own agenda everybody's trying to push their way of being natural their way of caring for their hair when i really think there just needs to be the basics a basic way to care for your hair with education. So I don't wanna just be here to bash people of how they care for their hair or what they do, but I think everything is intertwined. Like everything goes together, wig culture, um, protective styling, like there's pitfalls to all of those things. Like all of that circles back to money. It's a way for people to make money and people are making a lot of money uh, under the umbrella of natural hair. And what a lot of people are promoting is garbage. It's garbage. It's not genuine. It's not helpful. It's for them to make money. And I'm not going to knock people's hustles, but when those hustles affect other people in their hair and being miseducated and then you have all these former black businesses um being sold to big companies like procter and gamble who changed the formulas that worked for black hair so that they can now cater to their white consumers i have an issue with that so it's like there's so much. That's what I said. And, you know, in that in my blog post, I talked about a lot of this. There is, is, there's a lot of nuances. There's a lot of subplots to the issues in the natural hair community. And I don't just want to point out the problems. We want to come with solutions. And I came with a couple in, in my blog post. Um, but education is first and foremost. Women got to be willing and men to put in the work to educate themselves about black hair, even, you know, having a history lesson, like there needs to be some type of group um, that's throughout the states, whether it's Zoom or what, but there needs to be some kind of group where women can come have these monthly meetings to educate themselves on, on, on black hair, to learn what kind, you know, um, what type of hair they have and like the natural oils and things that they can use to help their hair. Like there needs to be that education. That's where we need to start because we're not doing it. It's just all these YouTube pages full of people, these influencers, TikTokers, Instagrammers, who's just using their platforms to make money and nobody's really learning anything that's my spiel y'all hop in those comments let me know your thoughts like comment uh subscribe share bye-bye